Hello, welcome to my channel. This vlog is about my experiences as a first time mom. And today it is the second episode. <laughs> Yay! And for this episode, I'm going to talk about infant car seat. So this selecting, finding a right infant car seat has been a big struggle for me. So if anyone is looking for an infant car seat here in India, uh, hopefully this is insightful and helpful to you. So continue watching. So why do I need an infant car seat? Because it's not legally mandatory here in India, unlike other countries. Now, I had my baby during Omicron peak and we didn't have any friends or family with us when we were returning from the hospital. It was just my husband who would be driving the car and me, I have to take care of the baby. And I was uh, with motion sickness and the fact that I just delivered a baby uh, it, I did not know whether I'll be able to manage uh, the baby on my lap. Uh, I just didn't want to take any risk and I was looking for a very safe option and that's the reason I started exploring infant car seat. Well, uh, so to buy an infant car seat, what challenges did I face? First and foremost, no one in my circle had ever used an infant car seat here in India. If anyone has used, maybe it's abroad. So they didn't have, I didn't have anyone to give me first-hand experience, share their experience with me. Second, it's that uh, not only people had uh, no idea, they had a little fear that if you use an uh, infant car seat that might not be suitable for Indian roads given that it's very bumpy and uh, it may not be suitable for the baby it, and whether the uh, these infant car seats are able to support uh, their back or neck, uh, no one knew. That's the reason no one was absolutely recommending um, to use an infant car seat. So the third challenge, uh, the options available uh, in the market is also very less and as I said, like hardly anyone uses infant car seat. So because of that, I did not know which is the right product. The second challenge, uh, second aspect of the challenge is how do you install the car seat? I have to know it myself, how to use it. And I have to just, um, you know, pray that I'm doing the right thing. So that was really, really challenging. One of the standard specification was having a five point harness. And when I was exploring all the infant car seat, there were just two companies who had this five point harness and rest, all the companies have a three point harness. Therefore, I'm left just with two companies to select from the car seat on which I'm going to bring a two day old or a three day old baby. Well, so I'm just left with two companies to select from. One was Love Lab. The second was True Mom. I selected uh, True Mom's uh, car seat. Now, why did I select this? This one simple difference was this canopy. So you see this canopy is uh, coming in this manner. Uh, whereas in Love Lab, the canopy is attached to the seat handle, which I thought might be inconvenient. Uh, that was the only reason I selected True Mom and so far, it has been a great companion to me. Well, so how do you install the car seat in your car? Uh, given that I'm not an expert, so I'm going to I'm not going to give any demonstration of that, but I'm going to share the link in the description box below of the YouTube video which I followed thoroughly. So what I'm going to show you is how you place your infant in the car seat. So you place your baby 
uh, in the car seat before you are installing it in your uh, car. So you place the baby over here and then uh, these uh, harnesses, uh, you put it around the shoulder. What you have to be uh, careful about is um, the entry point of these uh, shoulder straps should be either at level with the shoulder or below. Uh, and then okay, you just attach it. Once you have attached this, then you tighten this using the strap. Okay, so now you can see I cannot pinch it further. It's not folding anymore. So now this is nice and snug. Well, so finally, how has the experience been for us so far? Uh, well, um, initially, we were very, very nervous and tense. And I used to always check whether he's breathing or not. Uh, another best, uh, like even if my baby is crying, if I place him in the car seat and, you know, rock a little bit, he stops crying. And whenever we start uh, driving, he just falls asleep. So... For four and a half months we are using it and it's been great. That's all I can say. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to see the first episode I have it linked somewhere in this page so please go and visit it and it's also there in the description box below. Thank you.